Hi guys. Okay, now I know it look kind of weird. I did something uh, that I don't usually do and I did my eyes before my foundation just because I knew I was going to be talking to you and I wanted something on my face. <laughs> and I'm breaking out. I don't know why. It's not from the foundation. Uh, I think it's just, you know, hormones. Anyway, um, I am going to be talking about this new foundation that I found that I've been loving. And as you guys know, I have been testing out this one for a while. Bare Minerals um, Bare Skin Pure Brightening Serum Foundation. I really like this one, but that's not the one I'm talking about. Because this one I know would not last me in the summer. When I get shiny, wow. Like... My skin is extremely dry, so if a foundation can make me shiny by the end of the day, that's a big task. So what I found with this is that I have to use more powder, and I don't like using a lot of powder because my skin is dry. So I had to use more powder to set this. Um, it feels really nice going on. It's really nice and smooth. I still might use it sometimes on days when I don't want more, much coverage, but on days like today any more coverage so hmm. this next foundation I still looked to bare minerals and started researching some of their other foundations and I decided to get after just you know test running it in the store which is a brave thing to do <laughs> I got uh, the bare minerals bare pro foundation that's what I'm gonna show you because I've really been loving it but I've been experimenting with it so stick with me okay now I put two pumps on a glass palette right here and I'm gonna go ahead and do half my face with this brush and then half my face with a wet sponge um, so you can see how it applies differently because it definitely applies more full coverage with the brush but I actually really like it kind of layered up with the sponge as well because it kind of helps the foundation retain more help your surface retain more moisture regardless of the matte kind of finish of the foundation. So, that's what I'm going to do. Um, on my skin, the only thing I prepped with is this. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you know what this is. The Mario Badashu Facial Spray with Cucumber and Green Tea and Aloe. My new, one of my new favorites because I got dry skin. Um, and then, now, I have been experimenting with this foundation using different primers, using different application methods, all that. Um, but I kind of just want to put it on and show you guys what it looks like. That way you can really see what it looks like on my skin. Um, like I said, not the best of a skin day. Uh, you can really see, like, I have a little bit of redness. Um, I'm breaking out. So, good day for foundation test, right? Alright. So, I'm going to dip my brush into there. And just start going on one side. And as you can see, I mean already, like, what? look at the coverage. Um, you know, this looks really yellow on camera. It doesn't look that way in person. Wow. It looks really yellow on camera. I swear you guys, in, in person, it's not that yellow. And when I take pictures, it's not that yellow. Maybe it's just my lighting, but... I mean, you can see the full coverageness, right? I mean, like even under my eyes, like look at that, like that's nice. So that is just with one little like dunk. And I'm gonna go in on my forehead, just sort of down. The middle. Okay, so that's like I said, half my face done. Like walls up. Okay, man, I should have chose to use a brush on this side because of that, but, oh well, it's okay. I'm going to go in my bop, 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 beauty blender um, on this side. Now, I do feel like this side stays a little bit more moisturized, and then the other side kind of has more coverage and goes more matte because, of course, I'm using a wet sponge blend this out so wow huh yeah that definitely makes a difference wow 
Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Seeing. I'm just going to bring a little bit of this down my neck. Just to blend. Learning things already. Um, yeah. Because the, the, the uh, brush, I can tell you, definitely gives you a more full-on, like, matte finish. Like, look at that. What is that? Okay, I don't know if I smeared some of my eyeshadow or, like, what that red splotch is right there. What is that? I can only see it really in camera. Mom. Okay. Okay. There we go. Mom. Bye, baby. Can you fix this? Okay. So I can already tell you from this experiment that I definitely see more full coverage on the side that I used that brush. This is a great brush too, by the way, guys. It blends your foundation like seamlessly. It's the P55 from Wet n Wild. This new rose gold brushes. Um. But yeah, I definitely feel like it's more full coverage, more flawless on this side versus it still gives me okay coverage, but I would have to build it up, I think, with a couple more pumps actually on this side to get the same coverage as I have on this side. So this definitely shows me uh, the difference. But this side is a little bit more um, like less matte, I guess, because of the wet sponge. So, you know, um, what I would probably do is prep better if I'm going to use um, the brush on this side just to make sure it doesn't look cakey. Just because I do have dry skin and when I use a full-on full coverage foundation, it can start to break apart and look cakey on me by the end of the day, uh, especially like around here. So, um, you know, like I said, I'm still kind of testing it, but I really love this foundation. Like this is going to be what I wear especially during the summer because I need something a little bit more matte during the summer just because you know how much of a grease ball you get to be during the summer um but if I don't need you know absolute full coverage this side you know with the beauty blender is really nice also so there we go um I'm gonna finish up my face do bronzer and all that I will check in with you guys later. Okay? Later. Okay, so I'm in the car. Um, I don't know how much you guys can see. I can't see my phone that great in the car right now. It's super sunny. You um, can, you can just see me. I can see you. Yeah. Hi. I'm in the car too. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> Wait, I wanted to show my candy. I'm trying to get it. Oh, he's trying to show his candy. Mom. Huh. I need help. I'm trying oh, to. Oh, you gotta get it out of your pocket and then you can show the camera. Uh. <laughs> I'm Hurry to. up. I'm trying to. Okay, well you tell me when you're ready. Um, there we go. That's outside. Um, I did spray my face. <clears throat> Excuse me. I did spray my face with a little bit of uh, Beauty Me Vivian, like dewy mist. Because I was looking a little cakey. Um, I think I put too much on. Because I was trying to make it show up better on camera. Um, Ready? Oh. There's his candy. He found it. <laughs> cool. Eat it. And... Not yet. Oh, okay. Not yet. Um, I'm still kind of debating on this color. Like, sometimes in the sun I'm like, oh, I see, you know... Um, like around my mouth and stuff it looks like it's almost too dark for me but ugh, that's the only thing you guys the um there's got an extensive color range but I was having issues with the undertone because my undertone is very neutral and all the other ones the before this one either seemed way too yellow or way too pink and then I got to this one and it was more of a neutral undertone but I think it's almost too dark Oh, I don't know. Tell me what you guys think. Should I return it and get a different color? Hmm. And I still have my candy, guys. <laughs> okay, so, oh man, the lighting trips me out with this foundation, I swear. Like, in the mirror, it doesn't look bad, but when I look on camera, I'm like, why do I look so yellow? It doesn't look that yellow in person, guys, I swear, but on the camera, it, like, looks more yellow on my face. 
don't know. Anyway, but here's the foundation in bathroom lighting. Uh, I was able to cover up that sucker with some Tarte Maracuja uh, oil concealer. Anyway, um, but yeah, blush, bronzer, highlight, brush, bronzer, highlight. This is the side with the brush. This is the side with the beauty blender. What do we think, guys? So, I love this foundation. I definitely think I put a little bit too much. But like I said, I was trying to make sure it showed up on camera when I was applying it. Um, I really think that I need like a good hydrating primer with this. Like today I just did that um, cucumber Mario Barashu like spray mist. And uh, that's all I really used under it. Um, usually I will do like some drops of facial oil and kind of rub that into my face. Or I'll do like the Smashbox Primer Water or the Hangover RX Primer from Too Faced. Some sort of moisturizing primer I'll usually use. Or <laughs> I've actually used some of that Bare Minerals Serum Foundation before and put on like one thin layer of that and then put the Bare Pro on top of it. And I think maybe I'll do that tomorrow and show you guys how that looks because that actually is my favorite way to use this out of all the ways I've tried, even though it's two separate foundations. <laughs> Okay, hi everybody. All right, so today is a new day. I'm fresh faced. Um, and I'm gonna show you how to use these two foundations together. And this is the Bare Pro and then the uh, Bare Skin Brightening Foundation. Now, if you have this one, this is de definitely a technique you could use to use this up and still get some other coverage. Um, but if you don't already have that, don't go buy it just to apply the Bare Pro this way. Um, I haven't tried it yet, but like I think if you just put maybe a few drops of facial oil in a brush like this and then put that on your face and then go in with the Bare Pro, I think it would probably have about the same effect, which I will be testing that and I'll let you guys know on Instagram. But uh, for now, I'm just going to show you how this works. Okay, now I just put three drops of the Bare Skin Foundation in there, and I'm just gonna go in all over my face with this. Now I know some of you might be thinking like, well, that's enough coverage, you can just stay like that. Well, I could, and on a much lighter foundation day, like if I don't want any full coverage, if I'm not worried about zits peeking through, if I'm not really worried if I want a powder <laughs> and I'm not really worried about becoming a shine ball at the end of the day because of the heat outside, if none of that's a factor, then sure, I could just stay like this. And this is a nice lightweight foundation. It really is. It's so nice. Like, I mean, you can probably tell the difference just from what I did right there. But that's just three drops of that foundation all over my face. And I so hydrating. That's one of the reasons why I love that. It's very hydrating. Okay, but now I've got some of the Bare Pro here on a palette, and I'm going to go in, and I'm going to just, you'll see the difference right away. I just put a tiny little dunk into that Bare Pro, and now I'm going in on top of, on top of that other foundation. And I'm only using a brush today because I saw yesterday kind of the difference, and I don't mind using the Beauty Blender with this. But I really feel like you waste less product and you get more full coverage with the brush. And I will mention again what brush this is because it's amazing. And it's so, like, I don't know. This one is worth the $7. I don't know that it would be worth buying the one that you're supposed to get with some of these foundations. Those are expensive. They're like 20 bucks, and I just don't think they're worth it. This one is worth it. Wet and Wild, P55. Okay, well there's the foundation, you guys. Um, I haven't powdered or added concealer or any of that business yet. Um, this is just the mix of the two foundations. And I did do the same thing as I did yesterday, and I sprayed some of this on my face first. 
before um, before applying anything else. I just spray that, I kind of pat it in with my hands so there's no like residue left. And then I just go in with the Bare Skin first and then the Bare Pro afterwards. And honestly, I've used it this way a few times and this is my favorite way to use it. Um, like I said, they both kind of complement each other because um, one is really dewy and the other one kind of sets more matte. So uh, the dewy one kind of provides hydration for the matte one because there's oils and stuff already in it since it's a serum foundation. But uh, yeah, so I know two foundations is overkill. And I'm not saying you have to use the bare skin for the bare pro to work. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying you have to super hydrate your skin first. If you're dry like me, you have to super hydrate your skin first. And the bare skin does that. So since it was something I already had, this little, you know, one of, um, combining them has just been working really well. But I'm going to try it actually with a facial oil, I think. And I really got to get this video up, so I'm not going to prolong it any longer, but <laughs> um, I will update you guys when I use just a facial oil and let you know if it worked the same way. Um, I'll post a comment on my video feed or something and let you guys know. So anyway, that concludes this video. Hopefully this will be the last of it. And uh, I need to edit this and get it up for you guys. So thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>